Another TikTok account has posted a video that looks to be of a giant up on a mountain. We're seeing more and more of this really, but TikTok is a good place, a social media platform where just the average person can post a video and it actually gets seen by millions and millions of people. We'll look at this video as well as some other videos of what appear to be giants up on mountainsides. Is this a fulfillment of the Brenton Septuagint translation of Isaiah 13:2? God saying, I give command and I bring them. Giants are coming to fulfill my wrath, rejoicing at the same time and insulting. This first video and most recent sighting that we'll look at is from the TikTok page Bayo Udona. What brings a lot of credibility to this video as well as some of the other recent sightings is it comes from a TikTok page that was from someone just posting random videos really for probably their friends and family, not somebody who's just out there trying to get a lot of views. This video was taken somewhere, it seems, in India. You'll be able to hear from the people in the background. It sounds like they're freaking out while looking at what seems to be a massive being standing on this mountainside. That TikTok page has gone back to just posting regular videos, so it seems as if they've really just recorded something completely random and posted it, and it really seems as if they caught something out of the ordinary there. It seems as if these types of sightings are really increasing worldwide. This is a clip that I posted recently from someone in Utah working at a rock quarry who filmed this massive being up on the side of a mountain. And worth mentioning is while they're breaking down this mountain, maybe even with dynamite, there's no way they're allowing people up on the side of that mountain. Oh no, that thing's kind of creepy. It's like a person's silhouette up in the clouds. I'm sorry, if it was your mountain, I'm sorry I broke it. This next clip we'll look at is from actually an older video, but one that I'd never come across and it was from a giant being that someone filmed on the side of a mountain in Peru. And Peru has a history that in my opinion is completely tied to the fallen angels as well as their giant offspring. We can see it in the architecture of Cusco and Sacsayhuaman and just the incredible things left in stone there in Peru. While at first glance looking at this video, it seems as if two people are kind of crouching down and you'll see one of them stands up and becomes very tall. You can see here the uploader did a side by side comparison. You can see the rock here in both clips and how the people here are definitely closer in height to that rock, whereas this thing that stands up seems to be very tall and thin. This tall, thin, giant looking creature reminded me of a sighting that came out in 2020 in Mexico. There was a couple playing with their kid outside and then they heard a large explosion. When they looked over to the hill where they heard it coming from, they thought that some type of rock avalanche or something was going on. And then they just saw this massive, tall, thin, being that they refer to as a giant, they snapped a couple pictures of this. And while it is hard to tell what this is, it does look like a massive, thin type of being. When the last days occur, Satan and his fallen realm are going to become more prevalent on the earth, similar to as they were in the days of Noah. We know that they were kind of running rampant on the earth in those days, and it seems as if they will again. Are these sightings tied to these fallen ones and their offspring? coming back upon the earth once again. This video here again from Mexico allegedly seems as if there's a giant being coming out of a cave and just peeking out seems like an abnormal person almost looks as maybe as if there's hair on the bottom part of him. Some people have come out claimed whistleblowers whether true or not you have to decide on your own and have said that they know that there's giants in stasis underground or that they're living in the jungles or in the caves. Maybe these things are starting to make themselves more known because of the times we're in or the times we're heading into. Here's another clip from Mexico with people seemingly freaking out in the background and the title of the video is referencing that a giant was filmed on this cliffside in La Blanca, Mexico. Giant filmed in La Blanca, Mexico. <laughs> Get my 
And another video from Mexico that came out last year was recorded showing what seemed to be a giant on top of this mountainside. With these last two clips, of course, it'd be important to do a side by side with people on top and see if maybe it's just a person, but I thought it was worth referencing for this video. Whether these clips are capturing a person or if it's falsified or if they're actually filming something unknown, I think it's undeniable at this point that hundreds, maybe even thousands of people worldwide are seeing strange, massive beings around the world in these forests and in these kind of more desolate places. Similar to the lights in the sky and the UFOs that people were seeing for years but called crazy by the public at large, now it seems as if maybe these beings that people have been seeing walking around in the woods all these years calling it Sasquatch or Bigfoot are now becoming more prevalent and will also become more widely accepted as an unknown phenomenon. A few years back, the Arizona Department of Transportation put out a picture where they themselves said, is this a family of Sasquatch? But what we see here is what seems to be some strange creatures on the side of the road and one that looks as if it's standing upright. We know for a fact that giants at least existed at one point in Earth's history. There's actually quite a lot of archeological evidence supporting this in Israel the most well-known giant in history probably is Goliath, and it's said that he lived in Gath. Archaeologists have found that the city of Gath had enormous gates to go along with enormous fortification walls. Huge stones were found once again at this location, as well as many of the other ancient sites that are attributed to have giants there, and I don't think that's a coincidence. There was also the Kafar Minash hoard of artifacts that was found in spring of 1962 in Israel. And here's a picture of some of the spearheads that were found in that stash. One of these spearheads weighs almost five pounds, which would just be massive with a spear. It would have to be wielded by a giant. First Samuel 17, five says that Goliath was armed with a coat of mail and the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze. Within the Kafar Minash horde were also found 800 copper scales that were very similar to the type of armor that Goliath would have worn, or who knows, maybe even it was his. The fallen ones will try to deceive the world once more. We may not know exactly how that unfolds, but it seems as if all these unexplainable sightings of weird creatures and things in the sky seem to be connected to the fallen ones, and maybe they are being revealed more and more in the times we're in. But what's most important to know is that Jesus has authority over them all. Matthew 28, 18, and Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. If you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and savior, you can fully trust him in the uncertain times that we're heading into for guidance and protection and everything that we will need. Jesus has the power over everything truly. And these fallen entities completely tremble and flee at his very name. I pray you all are well. 